get ready to answer quickly, yes or no. Is this question easier than the other ones because we're just writing the equation and not actually solving the equation? Does that make things a little easier for you? Yeah, okay, good. So let's go ahead and understand that. That's what we're doing. We have, you know, we have the linear equation, y equals mx plus b, that we're trying to fill in, but not solve. We don't need to fill in the x. We don't need to fill in the y. It's all already there. It's just the m, the rate, and the b, the beginning amount. Those are the two things that we're taking into account. So let's make sure that that's what we're focusing on. Again, one more time, we need the rate and the beginning amount. Those are the two things we must focus on for success. So right here, the rate, and we're focusing on the beginning amount. Boom. So with that said, let's go ahead and figure this out. And let's go. We see here, it says on average, a warehouse ships 240 toys per hour from its initial inventory of 19,200 toys. Okay. So Everyone, that word per right there, I think gives it away that we're dealing with a rate. Yes or no, do you agree or disagree? The purple here, purple highlight that I'm about to show you, the word per is what gives it away. 240 toys per hour. Now, here's where it gets interesting. We have to ask ourselves, as always, the next follow-up question, which is, is that 240 gonna be positive is it adding to what we have or is it negative, taking away from what we have? Well, read further to see that it says we have the initial or starting inventory of 19,200 toys. So if we're trying to talk about, again, the amount of toys that are in the factory's inventory, if we start off with 19,200 and we're shipping out 240 every hour, are we going to talk about that 240 as a positively impacting number or a negatively impacting number? Which one is it? Negative. Exactly. Because it's taking away from that beginning amount. And so there you go. Boom. We're good. We have Y equals negative 240X. And that beginning amount is a positive amount. You know, 19,200 toys. You can't say you have a negative number of toys. So yeah, that's gonna be a positive amount no matter what. And there we are. There's our answer, we're good. And the only thing that might twist you a little bit, only thing is probably gonna be that the answer is A, only because we just swapped it. Again, one plus two is the same as two plus one. So you could write the 19,200 first, and then you could write the minus 240X after. Absolutely. The last thing I want you to do is move on without taking advantage of all the help that you can get, including my free classes that are once a week. So before you go, go ahead and text this number right there. Go ahead and ask it. When's the next free class? My assistant is gonna text you back as soon as we can and they'll let you know when the next free class is with the link. That way you can mark your calendar and ace the ASVAB next time we're around. I'll see you in there, my party people. Let's get to it.